Hey there, I'm working on these gears for the filament extruder and I had some problems with them well it almost seemed like they were printed out a bit evil <laughs> evil yeah evil all right <laughs> oval <laughs> oval slightly very slightly so they would mesh as it was going around in some parts and not mesh in other parts okay I won't show you the actual video of that I don't think you get the idea I'll show you can't buy this look 70.75 by 70.75 okay there I'm not going to talk about the height here height doesn't matter actually you might do so the height is 15.37 okay I'm going to save this export it so let's export it I've done this already but I'll show you just export it I'm going to export it so here actually I'm going to change the name of that of that and we'll do x what is it 15.37 odd size I know but let's leave it at that for now so the size is 70.75 by 70.75 by 15 75 let's move this up a bit let's move this up okay now I'm going to import exactly I haven't done anything with it well you know now when it is the one showed up to import as it there's the sizes oh but they does say the right size the correct size here 70.75 70.75 15 scale 100 percent i'll cancel that because i've imported it but look at the size that's coming at 70.75 width 15.37 height that's okay but 70.77 okay it's a fractional fractional measurement there that it's changed it Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save that, export, well this is saying 70, so to increase the size, increase the size, let's give it another file name, and import that one, 70 70.77. See, and that's what it says 70.77 by 70.75 by 15.35 import. I'll come back when it's imported this because it's take a couple of minutes probably to import. So here's the one I've just saved 70.77 70.75 here's that one that's been saved and loaded so you can increase the size slightly there so it's increasing the y direction look at the original 70.75 by 70.75 and after twice it's gone this amount so if you're repeating to save models and loading them back in which you might want to do actually in Tinkercad because once a mod gets edited quite a bit it can slow down significantly in Tinkercad it can actually stop and crash almost so you might want to save that model and when you save that model it saves it without the editing so be careful when you do do that but at least one thing that slows it down and going to crash is because you have a lot of it undoes in Tinkercad and stuff like that and it saves all the editing code but when you load it back in it, it removes that editing code and it works faster so you might want to save a model to bring it in to re-edit it so if you're doing that 
it's go it could after a bit save change the size so I'm going to use netplot basic so you've got the file names there let's save the sizes and we can see the sizes down here 70.75 70.75 forget this for now and 15.37 so that it seems to be exporting the correct size there let's try one of the others get rid of that that part 70.77 Yep, 70.77, the width there. So that's after Tinkercad has changed it when it imports it, obviously, because that is the size of the file that's been exported. And that is the size of the file on Tinkercad. It's only when it's important. Let's do the other one. 70.78, yep. There we are, leave that, but you can see that it seems to be on the import side of Tinkercad that's causing the problems because when I import them into Netfabs Basic, it's doing the correct size. 